What's up, Knights? I hope you're ready for the best episode of the year. Welcome to the Studio Senior episode. We've got a great show planned for you today, brought to you from the safety of quarantine, but we figured it was important to honor our seniors at the end of this incredibly unique year. Stay tuned as we'll hear from several seniors regarding their plans for after high school, see a few special messages from our teachers, and find out what people have been up to in quarantine. Many students at Higley have been looking forward to our annual Mr. Higley event. Luckily, we were able to compile some videos of the boys' talents. Let's check it out. Hey guys, it's Logan. Some of you may know me as Ron. And we are doing Mr. Higley virtually this year because of the quarantine. Those good nights. My name is Maz Khan. What's up? My name is Aiden Ducey. Uh, this is my Mr. Higley audition. Hi, my name is Logan Mack. My name is Ethan Haney. Hi, my name is Braden Lamro. My name is Jesse Williams. One thing that makes me different from the other contestants is uh, my work ethic. I think that uh, I can't be outworked. What is my greatest accomplishment uh, this year? Uh, is to be, for sure, winning the Arizona State Hill Climb Championships uh, with a solid nine minutes and 51 seconds ahead of second place. Uh, my favorite memory of attending Higley was probably last year when I first came. Um, they thought I was a foreign exchange student from Argentina. My favorite memory of Higley was just running up the tunnel, hearing the crowd scream in football, and just to see the love that went around Higley was pretty cool. So, yeah. My favorite teacher at Higley would have to be Miss Tyker. I had her for three class periods throughout high school, and I ended up TAing for her my senior year. One thing I've been doing to keep myself busy, just pumping some iron. I've also been uh, keeping up with my chores, doing all my schoolwork, of course, uh, cooking steaks, getting protein in, uh, learning a lot more self-reliant skills to uh, prepare for uh, living on my own in college. If I had to pick a favorite song, It'd be uh, Eight Second Ride by Jake Owens. That song, like, you cannot listen to that song and not tell me that that song makes you, like, want to kick down a door, or, like. He said, hey, boy, do you uh, my favorite memory from Higley was probably a senior homecoming, because I got to spend it with my guys. It was pretty fun, we went wild. I remember that night like it was yesterday. If I could teach a new high school class, it'd probably be the wakeboarding class. Uh, so my hidden talent is uh, I'm a soldier boy impersonator. You Soldier Boy Tell. Hey, I got this new damn for y'all called a Soldier Boy. Just gotta push this. So, you all came to see my talent. Uh, I'm gonna pogo stick for you. I do have a special talent and boom, it's to spin the fidget. All right, it's a real egg here. It's been said that you can't break an egg with your biceps just with one arm, so here goes nothing. This. It's a little sweaty. My hands got. So, Maya, what do you plan to do when the stay at home order is lifted? When it gets lifted, I'm planning on going on a cruise with my friends so we can do something special to celebrate our graduation before we go our separate ways for college. That sounds great. Well, until then, quarantine has given everyone a lot of time to try new hobbies and relax. Ellie reached out to a few Higley students to see what they've been doing to fill their days. 
happy nights is quarantine season. And you know what that means? Social distancing, self-isolation, and stores running out of toilet paper. And for me, that stresses me out. But I wanted to see how others are dealing with this. So I caught up with a couple seniors to see how they're handling quarantine. I'm bored. I would just rather be in school and working. It sucks. It's no senior year. It's over, no prom, no school trips, everything's closed. My quarantine social life has actually stayed the same as my usual social life, so I'm kind of glad about that. My social life during this quarantine is completely non-existent. I'd rather than being able to hang out with my friends that I normally would talk to on a regular basis, um, just being able to FaceTime them every day has been very difficult. With all this free time, not a lot of people know what to do with it. Maybe you could work out, learn a new language, build a lawn board or try to redefine yourself. Whatever it may be, you got time. Something that I've been doing more recently definitely has been cooking and baking more. Something that I really enjoy and have had more time to be able to do that. I started wearing more designer clothes. Like my dad has a bunch of shoes and I've been wearing a lot of them like uh, these Air Max. Um, I finished binge watching Gilmore Girls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been having a blast with Disney Plus. Before the seniors leave, they wanted to leave a few thoughts to give you hope through these hard times. Everything happens for a reason. To hope this all passes soon so that we can hopefully get part of our summer break and go back to school in the fall. To help me get through quarantine, I FaceTime my friends, kiss them through the phone. One thing that I always say is nothing lasts forever, so even though it seems like it is, it definitely will be over before you know it. So make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, and remember, Go Knights! Reporting for the studio for the last time, this is Ellie Flores. We have a lot of amazing teachers here at Higley, and it's been a while since we've been able to hear from them in person. Andrew and Aaron recently reached out to our teachers to have them record their final messages to our graduating seniors. Our class of 2020. Hey there, Higley High Seniors. To the class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. You've done great things. These 13 years have been amazing, and I'm glad I got to be a part of your educational journey. Thank you for being a part of my teaching career and such a bright spot in it. It's been a joy to have you in my class this year. If I can help you along the way, make sure you reach out and email me. I'm really sad that school ended and you're gonna miss my stories. Sorry that this coronavirus had to mess up your end of senior year plans. It's really important at these times to take care of those around you and those that you love. But I know that you guys are going to go out into the world and do some great things. For no senior class has ever been through what you guys are experiencing right now. And that makes you unique, that makes you resilient, and of course it makes you capable of overcoming pretty much any challenge. Thank you for leaving the school a better place. It's my plea for you that you guys continue to leave every place you go a little bit better. I know we didn't get to finish this year the way that we planned on, but I will always look back with fondness on the memories that we made over the last four years. Good luck and go Knights. I know all of you will do great things and I can't wait to hear about them. Please come back and visit and remember where you come from. Go Knights. Thank you. Keep up the great work. Go Knights. God bless you. Good luck and do wonderful things in your future. Take care. Know that I miss you and I wish you the best. And I'll really miss your class, but know that I'll definitely remember your class. I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future, and in the meantime, stay safe and congratulations. Once a night, always a night. So, go night! Best wishes, Mr. Boxfield. We love you here at Higley High, and we can't wait till we get to see you again. Take care, stay strong, go night. Although plans for the future seem to be on hold, our seniors have a lot ahead of them in the upcoming years. So we reached out to a few to find out what their plans are for after high school. Hey Knights, I'm Zoe White. Even through this rough time, the class of 2020 is still able to see the bright future ahead of them. I asked seniors what their plans are after graduating. I'm Lily Lenz. I'm graduating from Higley High School and next year I'm headed to ASU. Hi, my name is Elias Flores. I'm graduating from Higley High School. I'm going to go to community college for two years and then I'm going to attend one of our universities for its film program. Hi, my name is Logan Mack. I'm graduating from Higley High School and I will be attending Ottawa University. I'm heading to Chandler Gilbert to further my education and continue playing soccer. And I'll be a freshman at Baylor University next year. What's up, y'all? My name is Cannon. Jimmy also knows me as C. Breezy. Breezy. Breeze. 
Bump Baby Jr. We're now headed going. to serve a two-year mission. Well, and I'm going to UC San Diego. And I'm going to NAU. Going up to NAU next year to study creative film and media. High school and now heading to GCU. And now I'm headed off to ASU to double major in exploratory science and art. School after high school, I plan on majoring in architectural engineering. In the high school, after high school, I plan to attend CGCC and continue to develop my dance studio. I'm going to be studying exercise and wellness in order to become a physical therapist. And I'm headed to cosmetology high school. And I'm headed to University of Oregon or ASU. And I'm going to the University of Arizona. And I plan on studying photography and business. And I'm going to ASU to study interior design. And I'm going to Utah State to work to become an occupational therapist for special needs kids. High school and heading to Moscow, Russia to study. High school and I'm going to continue my studies at Arizona State University. High school and I am now heading to CGCC. And I will be continuing my studies at Cosmetology. High school and I got accepted into Baylor University but I'm still High school and now heading to Weber State University to play soccer and become a nurse. I'm heading off to film school. I'm heading to the United States Navy. High school, and I'm heading to Mace Community College to pursue an education in nursing. 2020, nursing. and I'm going on an LDS. High mission. school, and I'm headed to ASU for kinesiology. Year, and I plan on serving a two-year mission for my church after high school. High school, and I'm now headed to Chandler Gilbert Community College. And after serving a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I will be attending Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. Cool. And I'm going to ASU to become a nurse. High school, and I'm now headed to Northern Arizona University. Headley High School and will now be attending Grand Canyon University. Then I'll be transferring to ASU where I'll start studying and pursuing a career in sports journalism. I plan on getting my hairstyling license and pursuing my career as a hairstylist. High School and I am now heading to BYU, Idaho. School, and I will be attending Pima Medical Institute in the fall for veterinary school. technician. I'm going to Southeast Missouri State University to play football. School and now I'm headed to cosmetology school. Uh, after high school, I plan on serving a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And, and then I'm heading to a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. After that, I'll be coming home and attending Brigham Young University in Provo. I'm grateful that so many seniors are staying positive through this pandemic. We wish the best of luck to all those seniors out there. I'm Zoe, signing out for the studio. Go Knights! This year's graduating class is filled with amazing students that have brought so much to our campus. We recently talked to this year's valedictorian, Josh Transtrom, about his experience as a Higley Knight. Hey, what's up, Knights? This is Josh Transtrom. I'm the valedictorian of the class of 2020. Uh, this year has not gone quite how anybody probably pictured it going. Uh, we all came to school last fall hoping for the best senior year. We had plans and ideas, things we were going to do to make this year great. Nobody really anticipated a global pandemic outbreak halfway through the year. With the cancellation of school for the rest of the year, uh, there's a lot of mixed emotions. It's one of those bittersweet moments. We were all happy that it was over, but not really ready for it to be over. I know that as like, I've been processing these emotions and trying to work through it, I realized that while missing the last two months of our senior year is a huge disappointment, the rest of the time we've spent at Higley in the last four years has more than prepared us for everything we're experiencing. We have friends and family around us to support us and teachers that are continuing to work tirelessly to help make sure that we finish. And so we can't let the bad that the coronavirus has caused overshadow all the good memories that we have at Higley. We need to remember the time we've spent as nights and all the people that we've spent time with and Hold on to the memories that make high school worth remembering. We will make it through this because we are the class of 2020. The class of 2020 is experiencing a really unique ending to our four years of high school. We like to honor our graduating class as we look back at some of the memories that have made our high school experience unforgettable. From the Friday night football games to the dances to our daily classes and assemblies, it really has been an amazing experience. Here are your senior memories.
It's been an amazing year, Higley. In the midst of an unprecedented moment marked in history, it's crazy to think that it's all coming to an end. From all of us in the studio, thanks for watching. Yes. Let's do this. Okay. What's up, Knights? We're hope. <laughs> From the top. Don't watch us. Do I put my Go hand? away. I know. Little silly gooses. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm feeling the pressure over here. Okay. <laughs> the okay. I'm feeling the pressure though. It's cool. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We've got a great show planned for you today, brought from the safety of quarantine. <laughs> You're gonna say like, okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm having an, a moment here. So Maya, where do? You... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna mess up when we get to Maya. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. All right. So Maya, where do you plan to go after the stay-at-home order is lifted? When it gets lifted. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> when it gets lifted, I'm planning on going on a cruise with my friends so we can do something special to celebrate our graduation before we go. I just had it so fast. That was so close. No, you're good. You're, that was good. <laughs> From the fight it. You gotta be kidding me, man. Are you joking? <laughs> to our daily classes and assemblies, it's been, it has really, it really has been an amazing experience. Some of... <laughs> Here are your senior memories. It's been an amazing year, Higley. In the midst of an unprecedented moment, unmarked it, Yeah, it's been marked though, okay. <laughs> That's a baby jogger. Okay. He's a smiling dude. <laughs>